In 2011, Mumbrella.com.au held its first national conference at Sydney's Hilton Hotel. The two-day event saw four content streams catering to over 800 delegates. There were 46 sessions and 156 speakers. The event opened with News Digital Media CEO Richard Frudenstein's only public speech of the year. We'll be using the freemium model. The second day saw the first public appearance from advertising behemoth Unilever's new Australasian VP of Marketing, Peter Boone. And the consumers and societies around us hold us accountable for the company we are and, uh, and the way how we behave and interact with the society. Speakers even included Oscar-winning King's Speech producer Emile Sherman. The companies that produce they're the ones who develop the projects, decide which ones uh, you know, gonna get made or not. In one risk-taking session, 200 delegates drew up a media manifesto for the industry in real time. And build a, a manifesto. We brought together the faces behind Australia's burgeoning group buying industry. Just to make sure that um, it, was a, it was a good fair above, above board. <laughs> Uh, kind of fight. We thought, you know, today would be a good time to kind of put it on the table and say, you know, let's all set a framework and let's, as the leaders of the industry, let's lead those other small players. Cinema, TV, radio, newspapers, Everywhere. online, direct mail, Anywhere. magazines and outdoor went head to head in the battle of the media. Through online advertising. But if sex sells, then direct mail must deliver the ultimate experience. Radio is a fantastic media that unlike print media, most people are exposed to at a very young age. If you can harness the mind-altering experience of 3D cinema, your brand increases its chances of being talked about and becoming a social media phenomenon. Because it's the poster that leaves an indelible message in the public's mind. So I want to introduce you to a good friend of mine. If you look around you, here it comes. How the hell are you going to reach people who love shooting wild pigs unless you advertise in Bacon Busters. The two-day event culminated in a question time session featuring four of our industry's most influential players. I don't worry about the financials, although WPP do. We are defined by the work we produce. Personally, I try not to have three days in a row driving to work where I don't love what I do. Somewhat surprised that my colleagues up here didn't mention customer satisfaction of their, their clients, but... Um... The final sessions were watched by an additional 2,000 viewers via a live stream on the Mumbrella homepage. Dozens of companies showcased their products via the exhibition area, sponsorship of Wi-Fi access, an iPhone app, as well as sponsor curated sessions and delegate bag inserts. Mumbrella 360 was the most talked about media and marketing conference of 2011, garnering a double page spread in the Australian alongside a multitude of other news coverage. Overall audience engagement was high, with the event hashtag M360 trending globally on Twitter. And plans are already underway for Mumbrella 360 2012.